So I've got my grand action model here, and I just set up the SD6 on here. And this uh, grand action model really is a good thing to have. This uh, piano is friction is really low, but the down weights are really heavy, uh, pretty much across the whole piano. It's 70 grams of down weight and about 20 grams of up weight. And can you imagine note number 88 being 70 grams? <laughs> so, anyways, I put it on the uh, Grand Action model as I stated earlier. And what's interesting is it one problem was the original weapon. The original weapon is, I, don't know, I, I guess that's a Schwander, I think that's what he's called, but every time I see this design, it just always causes me trouble. So I happen to have on hand a Baldwin, uh, a Renner Baldwin weapon, and so I'm going to be swapping these out. But in this case, the main problem was that the hammer was glued on too far on the shank. On this one, it was glued out five and three sixteenths, and I broke the glue joint, put the hammer back on, and moved the hammer in till it's a five and an eighth. And boy, that really reduced, uh, that changed everything on this action. Uh, by the time I got it regulated, brought the hammer in a little bit, I uh, kind of shifted the whipping forward. Uh, the action spread was a little on the long side. It was 113. I got it down to 111. And uh, so I've, I've gone from 70 just by changing the hammer in a little bit, putting on a better quality whipping. And I went from 70 to 50 down weight. And uh, the up weight went from, I think it was 15 or 20 or something like that. To now it's uh, 35 so quite a quite a difference just by changing the location of the hammer so this always happens when I work on pianos that are not from the factory but have been rebuilt a couple times and that hammer location once that gets screwed up it really can screw up the action well let me get a drink of whiskey here all right, everybody. Thanks for watching.